Du wir den. Uvažajeme rektor, dorgie profesora. Uvažajeme uchastniki, dorgie dusia. Don't worry, now in English. It was in 2007 with our European Long Life Learning Project TARET training in advanced remote engineering technologies, we were able to organize and implement summer and winter schools for students from different European countries, including Ukraine. My first scientific contacts to colleagues and friends from Ukraine, except a private trip to Zaporozhye in 1985, started in 2010 with our first European campus project called ICL coordinated by colleagues from the Carinthia University of Applied Science in Villach, Austria. The goal was a concept of virtual internationalization of education by using modern e-learning tools. However, an intensive cooperation between our universities began in 2012 with our joint campus project ICOB for which well, I was allowed to be the coordinator. The project was funded with around 1 million euro. The goal was empower the university enterprises partnership in Armenia, and Georgia and Ukraine by modernizing engineering education based on remote engineering and modern e-learning aspects. After completion of the project, we have received a very positive evaluation from the European Commission. The colleagues from Saporosha played a leading role in the implementation of this project. During the project, we were able to successfully install the remote lab Goldi in Saporosha, which is now an integral part of the running Goldi Remote Lab Cloud, which is actually 10 remote labs in Armenia, Australia, Georgia, Germany, and Ukraine. I am proud that our university, as a coordinator of this cloud, can guarantee further international cooperation in the area of remote engineering and e-learning. In addition, the teaching modules by colleagues from Saporozhye as part of the project work are successfully used in various courses, not only at the university in Saporozhye. Within the pilot training at the end of the project, our colleagues in Saporozhye were able to successfully present 63 certificates to participants. I am sure that this is all a good example for sustainability in the sense of the European Union. As part of the ICOOPT project, we were able to welcome Galina Tabunczyk for an internship at our university in Ilmenau in 2013. During their stay in Ilmenau, a new European campus application was created, which was successfully supported as our common desire project with a budget of around 1 million euro. It is to be regarded as a successful continuation of our previous excellent project work. Within the scope of this project, we were able to further expand the existing Goldi Remote Lab and supply additional laboratory equipment for teaching and training purposes. Within the scope of our joint project, I was several times in Saporosha to demonstrate the application of our remote lab within the framework of master classes. In addition to the two large campus projects, each with about 20 participants, we were able to maintain our cooperation to, through the Erasmus Plus TA1 program for mobility projects. With our successful GH1 applications from 2017, we are able to exchange eight students each for six months from Saporosha to Ilmenau and in some 12 staff members for reciprocal scientific stays between 5 and 28 days. And we can be proud to extend the mobilities to other areas such as 
the language departments of our two universities for common TOEFL tests. Actually, we prepare all documents for two more students who want to come to Ilmenau in January next year, hopefully. Nevertheless, the cooperation is not limited to our joint projects. We also have a considerable number of joint scientific publications at conferences, in books, online journals. It is a great honor for me to be the editor of a joint textbook published in Saborosh in English, and your green language. Last week, for example, we submitted a joint publication to the REF conference to be held in Hong Kong next February. I realize every day how much patience we must invest in doing research, in devising theories, and in testing our solutions. The cooperation between our two universities, the Ilmenau University F of Technology, and the National University Saborosche Polytechnic has come a long way and will continue to grow as long it has two friends like the one in Saborosche. You can be sure that besides the technical discussion during the meetings and, and conferences, there were also a lot of time for private discussion and having fun. It is a pleasure to see how colleagues have become friends in the meanwhile. That's why many, many thanks to my friends Galina Tabunczyk, Angelika Pakomenko and Mikhailo Polyakov. Now I know that good friends like snowflakes. All different, but all beautiful. Pazdravia Juvas, sta dvatsati letnim jubileum, Polytechnicheskova obrazovania v Saporoskoj oblasti v Nacionalnom Universitete Saporoskaja Politehnika. Pus naše zatrudničestvo budet uspješno razvivaca i dolga rodoljaca v budišem. Balšoje vam spasiba.